Okay, welcome back. So this is part three of my personal messaging system series. And in the last video, we got our information about the messages that are in the table, or that are in the database corresponding to the current user that's logged in. And uh, we're, we've displayed the message in a very rudimentary way. Uh, there's not even any spaces between them. I mean, God. So, like I said, is I'm going to be displaying these things in a specific way according to my tastes. Uh, and now, because I've already had this finished, I had, m well, most of it finished, uh, the entire messaging system, that is, um, I already have all of my designs and everything made using my CSS, um, so, yeah, so, mine, I use, uh, divs, uh, div IDs, and the first one is messages, um, don't need that. So the very first one for me is messages, which um, I will be including my design folder or file, my layout uh, file. Um, in actually, I think I will open the layout file. That's probably going to open with normal Notepad. Yeah. Okay, so this is my layout.css page get down to it right here so right here is the entire CSS that is used for my messaging system uh, so you can see it right there you can actually get all of it you can pause the video if you want to just copy it down real quick um, sets all the CSS used for my message system my inbox our personal message system so I'm gonna be using this because it's already there for me to use so the very first thing is I start my uh, div uh, messages, my messages div, and inside of my messages div we have all of our information. So if I just refresh real quick, you can see it puts a, uh, a line underneath each message, uh, and that's because I put a bottom border on my messages div, uh, which is in the code you just saw. And now what I'm going to do is, actually I'm just going to copy this. I like to copy and paste. You got a problem with that? So the very first thing is the left side, which is where the profile uh, page, I guess, the uh, profile link is going to be. So, and the div, right there, and the div. I'm going to throw it down another line. And I'm also going to throw that down another line. And the reason being is because I'm going to put an input type equals checkbox and name equals uh, so if I just refresh the page real quick you can see it kicks this over it puts a little uh, checkbox right next to this and this is because uh, what we're going to be able to do is you'll be able to select each message or select all messages and you'll be able to delete them from the database um, which actually we're going to have to modify our, modify our table to do this. Uh, and the reason being uh, is that the messages, how it's designed, is the message is set for both users using one field. So what we'll do is we'll add in some more, uh, some more rows here, some more fields. And uh, it'll be for, like, uh, from delete or to delete to see if... Uh, whoever sent it deleted it from their inbox or whatnot. So we'll get to that later, and I'll talk about it more later. Uh, so that you can see that that also kicks this over, and that's because I put a width on it, a 150 width, um, because that's just what I chose. So the name of this our checkbox for each message will be different, and it'll be specific for each message. So it's going to be uh, CB, so that's going to be checkbox, uh, a little abbreviation there, an acronym if you will. Uh, CB and then dollar sign MSG underscore ID. So it's going to be the CB, so checkbox, and then for the ID of the current message, which in this case would just be one, but it'll be different for every single message. And uh, that's really all we need for right there because we don't need a value or anything because it's a checkbox, for God's sakes. Um, so the next thing is our subject. So we're going to have another div. So we have div ID, and this is center, and then end the div. So 
if I refresh the page once again, you can see that uh, our center is kicked over, and that's because it's floated as well, and because we have to uh, float this using our right side. Uh, so we'll just do that. Right side and div. So that'll fix the problem. So, whoa. Uh, okay, well, I'm getting an error, obviously. So I'm going to pause the video and figure out why that's happening. Okay, so I remembered why. Uh, and now the reason we got this sort of error, it's not displaying how we want it to, and that is because we for I forgot something, rather. Um, after each single... Um, after each uh, div message, or after each message div, uh, what I'm, what we need to do is uh, set another div, and we're going to set a style equals, and our style is going to be clear colon both, and then end the div. So right there, and what that's going to do is it's going to clear the uh, div right after each one of these, which is not where we want that. Sorry, that should be inside of the message div. There we go. So we have our message div started right here and end right here. We want it on the very inside of it, so it'll extend that down just like that. Uh, and now we want our date to actually be on the other side. So this, in fact, if anything, this proves that uh, order very much does matter when it comes to programming. And if it doesn't matter to anything else, it definitely matters for programming, uh, whether it be PHP, MySQL, HTML, whatever. Order matters for everything. Uh, so you can see our message is now being uh, displayed how we want using our CSS. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is really we can get rid of this line. And the only thing we're going to be really working with now is our, uh, our message subject. Uh, and inside of that is going to be our, our, uh, our form to reply to the message and uh, to actually display the message itself. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this into a link and the href is just going to be a pound so it's, oh sorry, it's not actually going to go anywhere. So we're going to end the link and save and I'll just show you that. See, you can't see it because my screen recorder doesn't come all the way down here but if you click on it, nothing happens and all it does is it adds a pound to the URL right there. And so it doesn't actually change our page. Uh, so what it does is it just makes it so uh, we can easily uh, use JavaScript and, and jQuery and things like that. So it's, it's very, very useful. So Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our JavaScript and jQuery dropdown. Um, now, this is, I believe I'm actually using the exact code that Adam gives from uh, Develop PHP and Flash Building. Um, Adam, great dude, you're awesome. Um, so this is, I believe, the exact code he uses. If it's not, I've changed it a little bit just for my own needs. But uh, what it is, it's uh, span class equals toggle. And so what this is, is this is, is, uh, is actually really nothing, I think. So just, it has to be there, though. And then we're going to end the span. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set a div ID equals, and our ID is going to be hidden div. Now this is another div, and I'll show you it in a moment, and the div. But first, zoom back out, uh, but first what I'm going to do is we're just going to put in our uh, message content. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to refresh the page. And there's no visual change except for that. Um, so what that does is it actually is displaying our content, but it's displaying it right beneath this. So I'm going to stop this video here. This is the end of part three, I believe it is. And in the next video, we'll continue on and we'll hopefully finish our inbox, uh, or at least get close to it. Uh, so uh, uh, check out the next video.